even with all these threats, the bomb threats, um, as well as some of the other attempts, um, you all have called this the most cyber secure election to date. What other factors went into this determination? Uh, the election was carried out in, in one of the safest, secure environments that we've seen. But that wasn't because threats didn't materialize. We had a candidate for president who was the target of an assassination twice. We had multiple plots disrupted by FBI and Secret Service that were targeting government officials and, and candidates for office. We saw, we've been experiencing a sustained level of cyber activity directed at state and local governments broadly, but as we got closer to election day, targeting election offices and, and parts of the election infrastructure. As I mentioned earlier, we saw efforts by Russia and others to confuse voters and to undermine confidence, and we're still experiencing bomb threats directed at parts of the election infrastructure. So what's interesting to me from a cyber perspective is that it wasn't that there weren't these attempts to engage in denial of service attacks, penetrate systems and exfiltrate sensitive data, you know, phishing attacks, potential ransomware, is that they were defended against. 